thank you for seeing me on such short notice. I ordered you a coffee. Didn't know if you wanted something to eat this late at night. Can you please keep your hands above the table? I'm sorry? Your hands. Can you please keep your hands above the table? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Well, I guess I should start. You're probably wondering why I contacted you. I have a problem. I hear you take care of problems. This is for you. It's 4,100. I know it's a bit low, but it's everything I have. Have a good evening. It's me. I want you to kill me. Well, this is new. All right, what's the catch? Cancer? No. No, I'm fine. Let's just say I owe a lot of money to people who you don't want to owe a lot of money to. How much? 120000 so why don't you jump off a bridge or go run yourself into traffic? Please. So how does getting rid of you help your situation? My work. I'm an insurance guy. A couple of years back, a disgruntled client, as they call it, comes in with a gun, fires off a few shots. No one gets hurt or anything. But after that, things got messy. Unions got involved, lawyers, lawsuits. Anyway, part of the settlement was they now have us under a pretty good policy. If, if I die from a terminal illness like cancer, they pay $25,000, $75,000 for accidental death, like getting hit by a bus while crossing the street. It pays 250000 in the event of death by criminal act. Like a drive-by shooting or a bombing or a mugging. So you want me to help you fake your death? No, I want you to kill me and make it look like I was mugged or something. Like I was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Look, don't take this the wrong way. But if you're dead, why do you care about some money you owe? You think I'm worried about me? I'm worried about my family. These guys are animals. God knows what they'll do to my wife before they kill her or my kids. I'm already dead. I'm doing this to save them. At least I can be a good husband and father one last time. So why don't you take this money and go to Vegas or something? Or the track? Better yet, why don't you just run? They'll find me. Look, I have thought about every possibility. Banks don't lend money to guys like me. Family, friends want nothing to do with us. We've got nothing left to sell. You think I'd really be here if I had any other option? Not everything's black and white. Here, I got my wedding ring. You want that too? Take it. It's worth a couple hundred Easy. bucks. Easy. Can you please pick up your ring? Your family has no idea of any of this, do they? This money? You? Here? No. And I'd like to keep it that way. Okay, let's just say I go along with this. You're gone, and your wife gets the money. She'll still find out because she'll have to pay off the debt. No. There is someone else who knows. My friend. My oldest friend. This is his idea. He's handled our finances for years. The money goes to him, he pays off the debt, the family gets the rest. And to be safe, he's going to tell my wife to take the money and run. Start a new life. 
She won't notice that half the money's missing? Not if the money comes from him. I mean, she knows we're in debt, just not how much. I think lying to her is the least of my problems right now. If anything, for them. Go on, pick it up. Don't think you're here for me, because you're not. So what did you have in mind? Every night I go for a walk around 9.30 or so, after the kids are down. Riverside Park. Not the best part of town, I know. Doc says it'll help my blood pressure. Anyway, towards the end of the trail, it's a small waterfall. Spent a lot of time there lately, thinking. It's loud, water crashing. It's really quite beautiful. I know of it. And it's also away from Street View. A lot of shady things go on there late at night. So that's where you want it to happen? I figure no one will question why I'm there. It's a bad place, secluded, dark. So what were you thinking? I was thinking that you'd make it look like I got shot during a mugging. You know, quick. And loud. Well, maybe you could use one of those silencer things we see in the movies. A suppressor. Yeah. And how many junkies or gangbangers you think carry a suppressor? And you want this to look random? Look, you obviously have no idea what you're doing here. You can't use a gun. It's going to be a struggle. It's never clean. You're fighting for your life, for God's sake. It's messy. Up close. Personal. You want to stick me with a knife? And given your reaction, I don't know if I can trust you. To not run? To show up. Look, you sit here telling me you're prepared to die for your family. But I don't know you. I don't know how you'll react. Let's say you do show up. Maybe you fight back. Maybe you panic. Run. Scream. Cause a scene. I don't know who you are or what you're made of. Are you married? Have you ever met someone who you knew was the one? And you would do anything for her? Anything to be with her? Anything? I don't know. Maybe behind that cold, rigid facade of yours, you have someone to call your own. You have some ideas to what I'm talking about. Maybe you didn't tell her where you were really going tonight because you wanted to protect her, keep her safe, keep her yours. And maybe you have some understanding as to where I'm coming from. So if you're worried about me not showing up, don't. If you want me to do this, you won't see me coming. And by the time you realize this is happening, it'll have already happened. I promise it'll be quick. Just make sure that this is really what you want. Sunday night, 10 o'clock.
There is someone else who knows. My friend. My oldest friend. This is his idea. He's gonna tell my wife to take the money and run. Have you ever met someone who you knew was the one? And you would do anything for her? Anything to be with her? Don't think you're here for me, because you're not. Not everything's black and white.